Hi, we are going to present the research work that we have done in this summer under the guidance of Dr. Arpit Bharatwas. Emotions. Emotions are the integral part of our daily lives. In our research book, an investigation has been made to classify the positive and negative emotions using electronosiphogram signals or basically EG signals or brain signals. Our team has proposed the model that can classify the EEG signals. Our proposed model can categorize two main dimensions, balance and arousal. What is balance? Balance is basically a positive or negative affectivity, whereas arousal is the measure of the calmness and excitement of the brain. We have used deep data set that uses physiological signals. In deep data set, the electronosiphogram signals, uh, EEG signals of 32 people were recorded by showing them videos, music, uh, music videos, romantic videos, funny videos, sad videos and then their brain activity was recorded. So we have taken that those signals and we have done pre-processing of those signals using fast Fourier transport. And then we have used convolutional neural network CNN and long short term memory network to classify those signals. The complete methodology that my team will explain you that how we achieve the more than 80% accuracy in our model. Hi, I am P. Sriram. I am from Eshwar Engineering College. Now I am discussing about data preprocessing and data collection in our project. We have taken data from PhysioNet. We have taken the DEEP data set. The DEEP stands for Data Base for Emotion Analysis for Psychological Signals. I have recorded for 32 participants or 32 volunteers. We have recorded the EEG signals from the each student. The EEG stands for electroenphrogram. The electroenphrograms of 32 participants were recorded as each of each watched 40 or 40 minutes long expects of the music videos. Human brain signals can be decomposed mainly into five frequencies. They are delta, alpha, beta, theta, and gamma. The participants are created each of the video in terms of levels of arousal, valence, dominance. We are discussing about data preprocessing. We have to convert from signal to numerical values or numerical values. So we use FFT algorithm to extraction of the features from the EEG signals. EEG FFT algorithm is a most efficient algorithm to extraction of EEG signals. My name is Rehan Ahmed Sayyad and I am from Ahmed Sabah College of Engineering, Mumbai and I study in Computer Department. For classifying time series data, we have different classes of deep learning such as CNN, Convolution Neural Networks and RNNs, Recurrent Neural Networks. Let me brief you about what is CNN and why we used CNN over LSTM. Uh, this will be explained in the later part of this video. CNN is mostly used for image classification, but in the recent years, it has outperformed RNNs in, in terms of performance-wise. We have made our own model for classifying the emotions using deep data set. The model description is, we used two 1D convolutional network for feature extraction, for learning of different features in the data set. We have used two batch normalizations for normalizing our data set so that we can bring a data into uh, in the range between 0 and 1. We have used two max pooling layers which is used for size reduction and also we have used four dense layers which is also called as fully connected layers for also for learning different features. The main challenges we face while building a model is overfitting. To avoid this, we have used three dropout layers for, for better uh, test performance. After running the model for 200 reports using 
all the above 14 layers mentioned, we got an accuracy of 80% for training set and 82% for test set. We can also increase this accuracy by increasing the data set and also by increasing the number of epochs. Now the later part, now the comparison between other models will be explained by my other team member. Hi, I am Aisha Shaji from Zengich College of Engineering. We trained the deep data set for both convolutional neural network and LSTM. Here I am going to discuss what are all told results we achieved and how we selected convolutional neural network rather than LSTM. We started our training from 100th epoch. First we trained the LSTM neural network as well as convolutional neural network. By 100th epoch, the LSTM neural network is able to give an accuracy of 52% while the convolutional neural network is giving an accuracy around 62%. We have changed the learning rate as well as number of epochs. We have tried it for 100 epoch, 150 epoch, 200 epochs and so on. In most of the cases, the LSTM model is far behind than the convolutional neural network. And we finally achieve it and our proposed model is able to get an accuracy of 82% by using a convolutional neural network. While the same LSTM network having the same number of epochs as well as the learning rate is only providing an accuracy around 77%. That's why we consider the convolutional neural network outperforms than the LSTM neural network. So we believe that in future we believe that we should increase uh, the accuracy from 82% up to 90 and will be able to use this model for emotion classification in real world application. Thank you.